Hey there. When you're 851 feet above the new river, it's important to attend to precision, to stay safe. I want to get down. I need some help. Help! Someone, help! The mathematical habits of mind nurture stronger, more skilled mathematicians. Applying the habits of mind enables math to be the common factor that unites us all. We're here at the gorgeous New River Gorge National Park, exploring the mathematical habits of mind and how they're involved in outdoor activities and recreation. Today, we are focusing on mathematical habit of mind number six, attend to precision. The New River Gorge National Park is rich in culture and natural history, offering an abundance of scenic and recreational opportunities. One of the premier and most exhilarating festivals held on the New River Gorge Bridge is aptly named Bridge Day. Wow. It takes precise communication and practical math to plan such an event. So please welcome our very special guests, Becky Sullivan and Marcus Ellison from the New River Gorge Bridge Day Commission. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. On Bridge Day, base jumpers from around the state and around the world come to leap off of the bridge 876 feet to the gorge below. How do bridge jumpers, Marcus, attend to precision when preparing to jump? I would say the thing that requires most precision in our attention is our gear and safety equipment. Uh, that's the most important part of making a base jump is being able to land the parachute safely. If I had to sum it up in one quick phrase, I would say that it's like, it's, it's, it's the de very definition of freedom. There's a lot of anxious moments and things leading up to, to a jump and then sort of the moment you disconnect where your feet are off and you're, you're flying, it's, it's, a good, it's a good feeling. This is such a huge event. We talked about brace jumpers coming from around the state and around the world to come jump that day, but we also have visitors and observers who want to celebrate Bridge Day and be a part of that event. Yeah. So Becky, how do you attend a precision and communicate precisely to ensure the safety of everyone in attendance? Yeah, so the Fayette County Chamber of Commerce works pretty closely with the Bridge Day Commission in planning this event because it's a huge event. We want to make sure that we're pulling off a safe and successful event for 80 to 100,000 spectators. Um, wow. So we work with the West Virginia State Police, the Department of Highways, the National Park Service. Awesome, awesome. And so, you know, we are here at this beautiful national park and there's so many things you can do and we want to ensure the safety of any visitors there. Well, we think about Bridge Day and we think about those base jumpers. You know, how do you precisely communicate to ensure the safety of the base jumpers on Bridge Day? Like Becky said, there are a ton of variables that go into making this event happen and making it happen safely. Um, and we've been doing this for enough years now that we have pretty good systems in place where we can communicate with all of our law enforcement, emergency services personnel, our swift water rescue guys that are in the river in case people land in the river for that, and uh, all the other uh, volunteers and people that, that help put this event on safely. It's important for a jumper who, who's gonna make a decision to, to jump with a parachute to know exactly what they're getting themselves into before they leap, and so we can give them the most information possible to make, the, make a good decision. One final thought, we'd really like to provide some advice to students and families about attending to Precision. So Becky, will you share? Yeah, so um, like we said, Bridge Day is a well-oiled machine, but there is nothing like giving out precise communication when trying to explain what happens on the day of that event of that size. And it's a 44-year-old event that runs with the Bridge Day Commission and all of the moving parts. So we want to communicate as clearly and precisely as possible. Join us next time as we continue to explore the connections between math and the world around us. We are all math people when we nurture our skills and recognize the common factors. Let's unite with numeracy.